Hi there everyone, this is the last video for this series in which we have downloaded and put to work the apps in the Just Some Elementary Personal Package Archive from Just Some Dude, aka Ken Harkey. So, we have already covered every one of them, every one of the working ones, and with the exception of EV and C, which I can't test. And uh, with the exception of fantasy and photo, which doesn't really work as intended, and actually currency, I am pretty happy with, with the apps that are here. They could be used as no, not necessarily as a daily driver, but they have potential. Anyways, uh, we have now the Webby browser, and the Webby browser is. Uh, Called the web app browser, which and it says to that it allows you to use Facebook, YouTube, or any web app as a regular desktop, fully fully integrated into your system and using a proper launcher in your application menu. Let's see what that means. It's basically a creator of web app, web application browser, uh, web application. Sorry. And so we're going to start with putting Webby. And we open up Webby. And we're going to go with, I don't know, YouTube. Going to fire up YouTube.com. And the idea of Webby is that it allows you to create a web app from that uh, URL. Here you have it. Here you have YouTube. Here you put the URL. Here you have it. And you can only even save this login information so that in case that you use it for uh, a forum or a, or YouTube or something like that, <coughs> you can simply create the app. So now the application is probably created, and we can leave Webby right now. And now we only have to put YouTube. Well, and uh, once once we open it, a new app appears which is supposed to be YouTube itself. We're going to fire up our creator. And now I am logged in in YouTube as if I was in my proper browser. It's not the uh, obviously Webby isn't really going to super, uh, displace your usual browser but it can help in some matters. It does remind me of uh, the approach that Yoli Cloud was having in 2010. Obviously, Yoli Cloud was mm, based in capital money, in venture capital money, while these guys are doing it just for free. So it's a great thing that y they can get these functional web apps going on without any problem. Anyways, let's close it here. This is. It's a good thing that it, if you noticed, the the web bar was different, so that as to differentiate uh, the web app from the usual standard gray gray barred uh, elementary normal apps. So now let's fire up Webby. Okay. Sorry, excuse me. Say Webby. Let's fire up Webby, and now you see here that we have YouTube. Can we do? What can we do here? We can actually nothing on the we cannot open it from Webby itself but we can simply remove it here and that's what, we, that's what we're going to do and this is the extent of the functionality of Webby so th this is the end of the review and therefore of this high of this series of reviews for the app for the functional apps of this PPA from just some dude I'm really thankful that you've watched it, watched it up, up to this point. This is my first series of YouTube videos, so I'm really, as you can see, I, I have made many mistakes and I'm a bit nervous actually. So I hope it's really helpful for you. And if you want, I will be reviewing more elementary apps and in general being a elementary enthusiast. Thanks for watching. Have fun.